YouTube for another video first of all in chaos this time guys you see I'm already in the match you see I'm playing the elf here what a beautiful elf here however I will show a quick item build guys because I saw so many players out there they're playing the elf very very wrong with the wrong item builds and stuff however like I will uh, go through the full item build like if you're beginning at level 1 at a player with this player match I would recommend to buy two squares patience guys like if you killed enemies and stuff and if you have, if you have enough money I would go for the face breaker many people do it wrong and just are going to buy the ripper I'm really not recommending this item guys it's a really I don't know what game Love thought about this item it's a really uh, I don't know like the ripper is okay but if you upgrade it for the fire bow are you serious that's the uh, I can't describe it that, that item is so useless guys okay your normal attack deal 30 40 physical damage to all enemies within 5 meters okay you get 35 physical attack 50% attack speed that's good and 4% critical rate but I'm really not recommending this item guys you can buy like this item costs 3300 and if you not buy this item like you can you can keep another um, another 700 you can buy the I can cut list you get 45 physical attack 45% okay it's 5% less but you get a lot of attack speed here it's almost the same and 12% critical rate and you don't need that area damage from the fireball why are you guys buying this some people are buying this fireball like for Dresnor or elf I don't know why you guys buy that that's a really useless item you deal no damage like here you deal for you deal 45 physical attack 45 percent attack speed 12 percent critical rate more than this that's only adds four percent critical rate 12 percent critical rate and passive unique physical attack increased by 30 when hero's hp reaches less than 35 percent that's you get an extra bonus damage if you're almost dying what do you want more guys please i'm not recommending this item that's the most useless item that that i ever saw in the whole heroes of art in chaos history really guys please don't buy this item our I would recommend to buy a face breaker and most people are going to the longbow that's okay you can keep the money and buy the longbow but if you have enough money like go to the attack speed buy the wings of paradise cause you have a like a balance between attack damage and attack speed that's good then buy the item the serpentine pike to upgrade it for the longbow guys just buy one of that and if you have enough money just upgrade those power items like if you have a uh, all 300 or something just buy the boots then if you have enough money for the longbow just buy the longbow here guys or the watchers whisper it's up to you guys just buy the longbow and then I would recommend you to upgrade the, the wings of paradise if you have enough money for the watchers whisper you get 80% attack speed and 40% chance but if you range like the elf only 25% chance 25% chance to reduce enemy's movement speed by 40% for 2 seconds and after that I would recommend to buy the divinity sword like you get an extra 50 physical attack 20% attack speed and 10% harvest HP that's useful very useful and you get a 10% chance for elf because she's ranged chance to stun the enemy for one second and the hp harvest it's very useful for elf because she's really squishy she has not very much health but after the update she will get really op guys the precast from her stun and her arrow flurry everything will be low down like you can stun very fast and after that arrow flurry and oh, that will be insane guys then after that i would recommend just buy the item i can't saber and after that upgrade it for the divinity sword and if you have just enough money for the boots buy the savage boots then you are like done you have almost the full build guys and like if the enemy has really high damage and physical like physical high damage I would recommend to just sell one square space squares patience like you can do that much earlier like before you go for the divinity sword you can buy the defense items 
it depends on the situation however then i would go for the hades armor like if they are doing like a tons of physical damage but no magical damage but if they are doing a balance between physical and magical i would go for the auroras auroras curas but don't upgrade it for the farseer's cloth guys it's not very useful like the passive is plus three physical defense and three magical defense get stacked for every hero killed not enemy every hero if you only kill an enemy a hero like of a maximum of 30 physical defense and 30 magical defense. if you're a good player i would recommend to buy this here item but yeah it will reduce like here you get 60 physical defense and 60 magical defense but here only 50 but you get 200 extra hp but that's not very useful i would recommend to stay at this item don't upgrade it for these items guys yet if you die from this item yeah you're losing like the amount of stacks it's, it's reduced by 50 percent like it's not really useful this item guys i would recommend to stay at this item if they have a balance between magical and physical attack just buy this item here or if they have full physical just buy a hades armor it depends on the situation then buy but if the enemy if they have like they are dealing no not a lot of damage i would recommend to go for the arcane cutlass like here i said this item not the fireball guys like if you buy the ripper at the beginning okay you do this the bleeding damage but that's yeah i would rather buy a face breaker you do 30 32 physical attack and the ripper costs even more but it does not a lot of physical damage okay you get attack speed not the damage but the damage at the beginning yeah it's much better to do damage yeah, if the enemy does not a lot of damage, I would recommend to buy the Arcane Catalyst. But otherwise, if they have a yeah, balance between physical and magical, buy an Aurora Curious. Yeah, and later then, the filler build, like at the end, if you have these items, all of them set up. The next item I would recommend is going for the Jadex, of course. Not the King Killer, guys. Uh, many people thought I'm going to the King Killer, but nope. Because the King Killer, like you do, okay, you deal a tons of damage. 19 physical attack and 25% critical rate. And passive increases your critical damage. Okay, that's the 25% critical. That's not passive, that's just the critical rate. However, I would recommend the JDEX because it reduces the enemy's physical defense by 10. Plus the target level to for 3 seconds like 10 and if the enemy is level 15 or something he gets his physical defense reduced by 40 40 that's a lot guys and piercing through the 30 percent of the target's physical defense that's like the enemy has no chance that's yeah but oh yeah i forgot it if you have this item the aurora is curious i would go for the arcane cutlass guys just sell this then go for the arcane cutlass guys try to buy the arcane cutlass not the jadex just stay at the longbow buy the jadex if you don't have any defense like if the enemy deals not a lot of damage and you see okay i can just just uh, rip them off i can kill them all they're pretty noob then just buy the jadex and the akin cutlass but if you have defense then buy the akin cutlass not the jadex because you need that attack speed you get 45 physical attack and 45 percent attack speed that's very useful however that's the item build for the elf guys hope you will like play better now with the elf and now the items but please don't buy the fireball guys please 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 like everybody i saw many players buying the fireball even for the hunter like i don't know what gameloft thought about that to pit to put the fireball in the recommended items by hunter like here at the elf it's recommended but it's I would not recommend it. Recommended items fireball. Are you serious? It's the most useless item in the game, the fireball. Okay, the ripper, I can understand it. The ripper, okay, you get bleeding damage and that. But the fireball, you even lose the bleeding damage. The, the, you maybe thought the bleeding damage is still there, but you lose it. You only get the area damage, but it's really useless, guys. Please don't buy the fireball. Just forget the fireball. Buy the old items. That they were here before like the new items like here the ascent stealer and stuff okay the ascent stealer it will get a rework like that will be really useful later like the passive from the ascent stealer after the update it will like it yeah lowers the hp regeneration at hp healing for 50 percent 
like lower if the enemy has under like 40% health or something if you attack him it lowers the uh, healing stuff and that then it will be really, use, really useful I will try this out after the update update what the fuck I'm talking about <laughs> However, that's the, that the items that the, that are the items that I use for elf guys. Try it out. What you think about it? But please don't buy the fire bow. Please, please, please. I saw many players buying it and they're doing no damage. Like if they have a f yeah, you can buy better items than that. There is you're just wasting one space for one fire bow. That's really useless. That's the item build for elf guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like. Subscribe for more hero support and cast content. And yeah, that's it. And the elf says goodbye here. And see you in the next video. Peace.